Okay, so those are our two picks, and we have one last pick. It is our 7.30 nationally televised TNT game, and I know a lot of you guys watched my social video last week. There was a certain trade with a certain team called the Brooklyn Nets, and my favorite player, Kevin Durant, he's got a new riding mate, and I hope the undercarriage is reinforced because that guy's heavy. We got big, heavy James Harden, and he's carrying a load for the Brooklyn Nets, who gave away all their good rotation pieces to have a big three of their own, even though one just would rather attend a birthday party than play in an NBA game. You know, I've, I've been to many birthday parties. I'm telling you, no birthday party is as fun as playing basketball. I mean, the only good birthday parties I've ever had are playing basketball. So, Kyrie, what are you doing? You're just living wrong, my friend. So tonight we see that the Nets, they are, it's a two point spread. They're playing Milwaukee and I was actually incorrect. This game is in Brooklyn. I was wrong this morning in my defense. I haven't eaten in 48 hours. So I apologize to you folks there. So we see this one. It is two points. If you could just scroll down for me there, my friend, take us to the 730 slate so we can see it. I did look at that Spurs Blazers game, but I had to rule it out because of rest. So we see the Nets are two point dogs here. And yeah, maybe Milwaukee has a little bit more cohesion. Maybe they have better perimeter defenses. Maybe they even have the best player in this game. But I think that the Nets game plan is going to be to shoot them out of the gym. When they need to create a look, they're going to be able to do it with Harden's like ball handling ability or Durant's ability to get anywhere he wants on the floor. So I think they just kind of give him the green light from three. And given that it's Harden, Joe Harris, and Kevin Durant, I think that it could be a mathematical advantage here for the Brooklyn Nets. Three is better than two. Yeah, they don't really have a Giannis stopper. Giannis is going to do whatever he wants. But if they play a wide open game, and we saw the point total of the first game they had together versus Orlando, they're going to let you score whenever you want. Giannis is going to be going to the rim unencumbered. And so there's going to be the honest on Brooklyn to score. So I think they will. They've actually got a great complement of shooters of the guys I mentioned, plus Landry Shamit coming off the bench. That's four guys who can hit your trays at a 40% clip. And that's a pretty good asset. So even though it's a new rotation, I'm going to endorse the honeymoon period for the Brooklyn Nets over the Milwaukee Bucks. Maybe the professional gambler is getting a little excited here. Maybe I just want to see Brooklyn succeed and I don't have all the confidence in the world in Milwaukee. But I think uh, if it's a pick em game, I'm going to go with the team that is built around the three-pointer. That logic makes sense to hear, to me sitting here in a very sunny room. Sorry about that, Sam. It's pretty bright in here. So to just sum up the picks, I like the Magic over the Knicks. Shouts to the Knicks, though. All the Knicks young guys are going great. I only base that pick based on it being no rest, basing on, on, it, on Orlando actually being a tough out when some of their players are out with injury and them just giving Vucevic a load management. Think back to game one against the playoffs in against Milwaukee last year. They were out a lot of guys. They missed DJ Augustine, who was their starting point guard. They missed Jonathan Isaac, which actually they're missing Jonathan Isaac and their starting point guard tonight. So I like that. And 